So you've just received your Hair Fabulous wig. I bet you're anxious to get started and try it on. Well, let's take a look. Inside your box, you should find the wig as well as a stocking cap. There was probably a couple of bobby pins in there as well. Don't throw those away. They can come in handy. Now I want you to take a look at your wig. Let's inspect it. Notice that the front of the wig has a very soft velvet front. This is how you know the front from the back. In the back, of course, you'll find the tag. On both sides of that tag, you'll see an adjustable tab. This is for sizing. So ladies, let's loosen those tabs. Give that wig a good stretch so you'll understand how it's going to fit and the comfort. So let's just go ahead and start off with an average fit and those Velcro, so they're going to stay nice and secure. Notice all of the ventilation that's designed in all of my wigs. This is so that your head is able to breathe and feel just like as if it's really your own hair. So now I wanna turn the wig right side out now, ladies, it's been traveling a long way to come to your home. So let's give it a good shake and let the style and the fibers come to life. Well, I think we're ready to get started. Let me show you how I prep myself to put on a wig. So ladies, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you prepare your hair into a flat tight pancake so that your wig is going to fit nice and contoured to your head. So what I do is I simply twist my hair nice and flat. We don't want a knot back there, so don't use a rubber band. Now use your bobby pins to secure your flat little pancake of a bun. This flat little pancake will allow the stocking cap to go on and your wig to fit nice and securely, nice and flat. I'm ready to put on my stocking cap. Well, now that you're all pinned up, let's go ahead and put on the stocking cap. Now, ladies, there's not a right or a wrong way of putting on a stocking cap. You just want to make sure that you tuck all of your hair up underneath the stocking cap. Go ahead and make sure your ears are out. And then what I want you to do here is make sure that your cap is not rolled, but now I want you to take a look. I want you to kind of bring that stocking cap back and expose your natural hairline. This is a very, very important step to putting on a wig properly to ensure you're going to get a really natural look. By having a, your stocking cap a little too far down, girls, this isn't the look we're looking for. So let's go ahead and get it back and expose that hairline. Well, you're ready to begin. Don't worry about this excess. This is going to get smashed underneath your wig. Well, now we're ready to put on your stylish wig. What I want you to do is look inside the wig. Find that velvet-like front and find the tag. Remember, ladies, the tag goes in the back. The velvet soft front will go right here at your hairline. What I do is, with my thumb, I just grab the inside of both the tag and the velvet front. I'm ready to put on the wig. Now, I'm going to turn sideways so you can kind of see how I do this. I'm going to hold the wig at my natural hairline and then I'm going to pull the wig back along the neck. Ladies, don't worry, you can give it a good tug. You want that down on the neckline. Now, notice I still have a hold of the front. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to drag any excess hair that might have gotten caught underneath the wig. We want all the hair out from underneath it for styling purposes. Now I'm ready to let go right underneath the wig on both sides of the temples, you're going to find my little temple sideburn areas. Grab a hold of them and then slightly adjust the wig so it's perfectly centered on your head. 
give those little temples that have a built-in wire just a little bit of a push inward like this so that it holds nice and secure. But the most important thing and the final prep is to look up underneath the front of your wig. Make sure you can see that exposed hairline just barely, okay? Now that you can see barely that front hairline, you're ready to style. So ladies, let's get with it. Notice it only takes a few seconds to give yourself that beautiful flawless finish and you're out the door. Feel free to use my wonderful styling mist. Give it a little spritz and spray. It'll hold perfectly all day.